Okay, let's try cutting in with this fat standard paintbrush. I use this for all kinds of stuff, but uh, it really doesn't work too well to cut in a line up here. I first want to kind of take most of that off. Then I've got to get up there and you've got to make sure that you don't have any little bristles of this brush uh, straggling, little stragglers. You've got to pull those off. And then um, you've got to move up from the bottom and there's you know, it's, it's kind of tricky to do with a fat paintbrush like this. It's, po it's possible. You just have to be careful. You're not going to get as tight of an edge as you would with, the, with a uh, little paintbrush that's got a 45 degree cut on it. Now that I've got this little hand deal here, I've just, see I've got it right here, I'm working right up there. I've got to get my eyes right up there to where this brush is so I make sure it doesn't go above there. Okay? So the key is, is once you put your paint on there, you want to kind of put it on down at the bottom, get a little bit off your brush, then, then start up, start towards the top, but not all the way. Now slide your brush up there. Once you get it up to where you want, now you can gently pull it straight across with a nice, straight stroke. You gotta have a steady stroke there, okay? So that's how you do it with this fat paintbrush. It's kind of tricky, especially when you get to inside corners of, of walls and the ceiling. That's really tricky because you don't really have any points to this, okay? But you can use this. It works.